A case of perennial hernia in a dog. A Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video for vet students and pet owners. Sponsored by Tupaya Vets. Okay, April 24, 2014. This multi is 7 years old male. Not sterilized. Not sterilized. Uh, has this big swelling here. For how long, right? Eh? One year? No, for a few months. A few months. Uh, starting with a small lump, and then after they become bigger. Now, to prove there is a hernia, which is an opening inside the muscle area, you push it back and go in, and say, that's why it's called it's a hernia. Okay. Uh, but it will come out again. So, because the muscle wall is weak here, so, so the, there's a hole, and then the intestine, sometimes the bladder come out, and uh, sometimes there are two sides. So this side may be smaller. So the left perineal hernia, so the treatment is surgery to, to push it in and then close up the muscle hole. Mm -hmm. Other than that, the best is to sterilize the dog at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, most common in male dogs who are not sterilized, old, older male dogs, so this dog is seven years old. Mm -hmm. Or oh, he's not sterilized. Mm -hmm. so, so actually, what, what is the cause like? Uh, the, the cost of surgery and anesthesia. Mm -hmm. Anesthesia is around 300, surgery around 400, so I estimate 700 over. 700 over. Then what about uh, uh, post-op treatment? Then the, you, you are going to not, you're going to, hmm? you're going to, uh, does he need to be in a hospital? Yeah, for a few days. For a few days. Uh. Huh. Okay. And then uh, the best is at this, at the same time or later to neuter him uh, uh -huh. because these hormones, the male hormones are uh, uh -huh. most likely is the cause of this muscle weakness. Uh. Okay. So the muscle in the pelvic area they call it the muscle weakness and they open up and then the, or the intestine will come out. Okay. So you can pee and eat and drink. Uh. Can he just pee normal actually? Huh? Can pee and drink. Can he and drink? <laughs> uh, he can, uh. Uh. can 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 pass motion? Can. Huh? Can. But um, he's having yeah. difficulties, yes. Yeah, like constipation and that. Uh. Yeah, correct. For how long really the difficulty? Uh, it's, it's been a few months or so. Mm. So it's lucky that the intestine are not twisted. Uh. If the intestine twisted, the dog would have died because the blood vessels are all twisted, I think. Uh -huh. So it's so lucky that he he has the... So the only problem is constipation, difficulty in... Uh, yes, correct. In, in stools, uh, passing motion. Mm -hmm. So how many months, few months? Uh? Yeah, correct. Then I think it's about four, four months. Four months. Uh. Okay. Has it not been sick before? Not really. <laughs> the color is okay. The membrane. We just put him to hmm? uh, for for dental care. Yeah, very really well. Uh, done with really dentistry. Uh. When was that? Uh, just last week. And you didn't see this? Huh? No, it, it was not a bad. It, it was huh? actually it was a pet shop. Oh, pet shop bit it. Uh. Okay. Well, okay. So. So there was nothing uh, at that time. Uh. There was already a swell. There was already actually. Mm. And so, uh, there was a blood test done. Uh, so the best is to do a blood test to see whether there's any infection. Uh. Okay, sure. And uh, it's about 150. Okay, okay, sure. Uh. You can, can you do it now? Or? Yeah, we do today. Uh. Okay, sure. Okay, uh. mm. So we give antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And then the surgery will be done tomorrow. I'll let you have one day of e antibiotics. Can, can I just talk to my parents regarding the surgery? Can, because they, they need to... They, no, they wanted... Actually, they don't really want the surgery. Because quite a few yeah. males died right. after surgery. Right. Not by you, eh? Huh? No, uh, they didn't want to. It, it's after surgery, right? They sort of like... Within one or two years, they died. One or two years is for different reasons. Uh, I know, but family. the thing is, they say that uh, the surgery actually no cut short their life in a certain way. So, so there's a hernia here, so there. Mm -hmm. Small one, I can see. The next day, the vet decided to do the surgery immediately. Warning, viewer discussion is advised for the following scenes. Second of May, twenty fourteen, eleven a.m. Okay, this dog had a perineal hernia, a big one on the left side, and uh, it was operated on by Doctor Daniel seven days ago. Now, as in all operations, there, there sometimes there are complications. 
And as you can see, today is the seventh day. There is some, uh, I would say, some bleeding underneath. And uh, there's a stitch breakdown, as you can see. So, this is part of the complications of surgery. Not all surgeries end up very uh, perfect. As, uh, sometimes it's the dog who's trying to, to lick the area. And also in this dog I noticed, as you can see, although the owner says that there's nothing wrong, but you can see this dog has a severe ear infection, otitis externa. This was not treated. And so as you can see, when the dog first came in, it was uh, just black and there was no inflammation. But uh, now there is inflammation and the dog will probably use his leg to, to try and scratch the ears. So putting tension on this uh, wound. Then uh, you can see the other ear as well. You can see that this dog is moving with you can see I, you can see the dog uh, the, the leg I see. So so this shows that the dog has a severe ear infection and uh, and that will explain why the stitch breaks now. Now we look at this side uh, we look at this the other side now the other side what the hernia was smaller and so the stitching, stitching is of course a smaller opening will do because it was like about one fifth the size of the other the left side. So the wound is healing very well, as you can see, and there's no uh, bleeding. Now this dog also has the same problem with the ears. As you can see, it's very bad inflammation of the ear. Now when the owner came. This ear was not inflamed, but it was black. And I did explain in the video earlier on that uh, this is a severe case of otitis externa. Now, I, I presume the owner has used ear drops or what medication under the ear. And so now, because the dog's ears are not treated since he came in for, for the hernia, and he was hospitalized for seven days. Today is the seventh day. And, uh, and on the seventh, day, sixth day, you can see that uh, there's a wound or the stitch breakdown on the left side. Now the stitch breakdown, the vet will have to clear the bleeding, wash the area, and uh, and uh, restitch. As I said, this is part of the of the complication of surgery. So many things can affect the healing, especially the dog. The dog has been uh, scratching and then causing tension on this area. Now, in, uh, in the stitching of a perineal hernia, especially big ones like this, my preferred method of treatment is, is uh, to do the horizontal mattress. Because the horizontal mattress has more holding power. But, uh, each vet has its own uh, own preferences. In this case, Dr. Daniel has done, I would say, simple interrupted. Uh, normally, simple interrupted should be okay if the if the if there's no tension. You can see that it heals quite well. Now, in in, uh, in high tension areas, especially like this, normally I would advise horizontal mattress. Horizontal mattress means you the needle goes in here come here and come out again. So the knot will be here, the knot. It's called horizontal mattress. The other one which has stronger holding power is vertical mattress. Vertical mattress, the knot goes in here and comes back to the same area, come out here and the knot is here. This is a vertical mattress. Horizontal mattress is, I explain again, horizontal mattress, the needle goes in here and cut, go across and come out here and the stitch is here. So the difference between horizontal mattress and the vertical mattress is that the vertical mattress it comes back to the same area again vertically. That means the stitch goes vertically and comes out on the same area. Horizontal mattress it goes in and goes across about maybe uh, eight millimeter and come out. Now these two mattress switches have higher holding power than uh, than the simple. This is a simple interrupted suture. 
you know, in Dragon Sutra, wherever there's no tension, it's okay. But when there's tension, it's where you get the, the breakdown. But uh, in this dog, the breakdown is due to the dog's leg and the ears are scratching. So now we will have to treat the ears as well. We give the dog a bath and treat the ears. Okay, thank you. 17 of May 2014, two weeks after the operation, the owner is happy that the wound is healing and the complications have gone away. The wound is about 90% dry, which means that it is healing very well.